Raise your vibration by tuning in to Awakening Code Radio every Tuesday night here on KX93.5. Okay, so you're back with us. and We're just going to jump right back into it with uh, Camille. She oh, is right. a psychologist, psych- Psych- psychological kinesiologist. Emotional body specialist. Emotional body specialist. Okay, so life coach. Life coach. Because I'm always cheering everybody out. Uh, quit, <laughs> I can't help myself. Stop cheering. Quit banging on the table. <laughs> we can hear it every time. I'm a cheerleader for you guys. I love you guys. And I am an ordained minister. Okay. Okay, really connected, loving God with everything that I am. And certified NLP, Neuro Linguistic therapist also so it's all basically subconscious so you have a broad spectrum yeah, of things uh, yeah, in your tool gonna, yeah. kit that yes. you can draw from exactly yeah which exactly, is great yeah all right so we talked about someone coming uh, with you that they've taken the big step <clears throat> leap of faith is to come to somebody for healing mm-hmm. whether it's it's you or somebody that that huge step usually is just deciding i need to do something right and then they're gonna right in the the presence of you they're gonna be invited to go deep and kind of get connected with this mm-hmm. pain, which I can imagine that's where mm-hmm. it starts getting very scary for people. Well, I do my best not, the whole idea is to move fear out. Okay. So I don't want anybody to be scared, okay? okay. They feel very safe, okay? Um, the whole idea is is to find it, okay? And just get the realization, because if we don't get to the core of it and get the realization, it may be healed for a while, but honestly, Eric, it's going to repattern. Right. Okay. So to me, it's always like weeds in the garden. You know, some weeds, you go to pull them and they come up real easy. And then you have some of those other weeds that they look like they're easy to come out, but they don't. They're cored in so deep within the core because of the upset or the pain or the attachment to the experience. They don't want to let go because the resentment is there. Okay. So we've got to get into the system and release that resentment, okay, through forgiveness and a lot of different types of energy. This now goes into the quantum field. We go into deep into the quantum field of energy. All those atoms that are vibrating at a certain rate of anger or frustration or whatever it is, and we have to transcend that, okay? So there's that, and then once it's transcended within a person, they're just, oh my God, oh my God, I feel fantastic what what just happened right i've been trying to move through this for 10 years 15 years how did this happen how does it happen it's grace it's grace in motion it is absolute love and grace with all this beautiful scientific all these people that have figured out all these things about the the subconscious mind right and everything else intuitively because i do hear i'm clear audience Okay, I came in clear audience. So, so you hear, hear a, a guide. Oh. <laughs> Since I was a child. You hear voices. I know. They ex- teach me all kinds of things. I have these guides and then the guides, spiritual guides. Telling you what specifically for this person. Yes, yes, yes. yes the yes, words yes, to yes. say, the things to do. Knowing, yes, yeah, yes. Just, just knowing exactly. And, the, and people feel the presence. Right. I'll have people come in and they're just like, after, I'll start with prayer. And we go in with the intent, and we're going to discover, find, and release this soul, right? Release this pain from this person, whatever it is they're going through. And uh, they're just like, what is this feeling? (laughs) What is this? I said, this is is the hierarchy. We're not separated. We're not separate. But a lot of people just, you know, they want to stay in the mundane and, you know, just stay in that reality. But there is so much more, and they're really there for us to assist us. So you, you're sort of serving as this guide or bridge to, for people to connect to this spiritual dimension in the moment. I yes. mean, you're, you're, and maybe they just haven't, they've gone to church or whatever, and they've just gone through the motions, but they haven't had that truly profound experience. Relationship. Right. It's, it is a profound experience. Profound. And, and mm-hmm. when they get to a taste of that, yeah. however mm-hmm. it comes to them, mm-hmm. they know that something different is happening mm-hmm. for them. Yes. And it's not the same person to person it's Mm -hmm. it's something different a different word or a different energy or a different something Mm -hmm. per person yes so you just and you just know that you can trust your guides Mm -hmm. to to do that so if a person doesn't get to come and talk to you Mm -hmm. i know you do sessions so i do sessions and i do workshops and i go to businesses because i like to hit mainstream too i mean there's a lot of spiritual people i assist 
but there's a lot of people that are really closed off and they just go to work every week, right? And right. they just do the mundane. A lot of people are apathetic these days where they just do the same thing over and over and not really excited about life, right? right? So I like to get into the business people also so I can assist them. I mean, this is, you know, we're all one. And if they're not really evolving and moving, I mean, I have a lot of compassion for that. So mm -hmm. I, I like getting into the business field. And the it business seems really important, too. yeah, that yeah. the business kind of gets into that because, you know, the, it, it follows money. Energy follows money. Money follows energy. You know, and, and we think that true change happens when bi it following a business model. So it would be really important to introduce mm -hmm. spiritual awareness, depth of awareness, you know, emotional awareness into a business. I agree yes. completely. Yes. Um, but let's say someone doesn't get the opportunity to come talk to you about their specific mm -hmm. condition, where they are at the moment. Is there something that you can share with listeners of uh, something to do, like, tonight today here and now that would get them on that path of of the place that you talk about okay so there's there's a few things that we can do one thing is to becoming much more aware of what you're thinking during the day okay and just becoming aware of those thoughts and the words that are coming out of your mouth okay like a lot of us are getting that now right because we are creating our reality sure. by these thought forms and our words, okay? So that will help people right away there. Um, another thing to do is, um, honestly, just connect with your heart. In all honesty, it, it's just connect within and just let go and forgive. And honestly, let just let it go. Let the past go. I'm in the process of writing a few books right now, and one is bringing peace to your past. You know, we bring peace to the past and, you know, we're going to see a different world. We're going to see a different reality all around the world, right? Mm -hmm. And then another book I'm writing is called Unzip Yourself. Mm -hmm. And that is to unzip yourself to see the true totality of who you really are. Like, okay, the joke was kind of on us the whole time. We're in all this drama and control and all this stuff we're go going through. And the whole time, that the beautiful divine essence was there all the time, right? right. That peace was there, that that love was there right and i totally believe that that these things are not something you have to sort of in a manufactured way believe and not really believe that they're really there mm -hmm. that your heart really does already know love and we've just done a good job of sort of isolating it not listening to it mm -hmm. because it's a quiet calm voice right. and our world seems loud and dangerous right. and, noisy. and so yeah right. noisy it's so, so noisy you days. really do need to retreat and breathe Right. And kind of acts, if you're going to move into this, you called it awareness right, and right. use the word awakening all the time. Right. Um, same thing, that we're right. moving into this with the purpose of right. healing, moving into joyful state of health and happiness. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, it sounds pretty simple, but obviously very challenging because people are just, we're all still kind of running around. We're getting bits and pieces and mm -hmm. tastes of what this this awakening really means mm -hmm. this connection to something broad and big awakening code radio is available on podcast visit www.kx935.com click podcast then scroll to awakening codes previous shows